Hi guys. I want to go over a dream that I had a while, while back. Alright. This dream was unusual because throughout my studies in scripture, I read in the book of Revelation about the two witnesses. The two witnesses. And I know everyone wants to know who these two witnesses are or these two prophets that are sent by God in the end time. And I've been praying to the Lord about it too back then. I've been praying hard and hard and I wanted to know who they are or or are we to take them are we to take the number two as being literal? Okay. And as I've been praying to God about it, one night I received a dream. Okay. In this dream, I was in Jerusalem. I know I was in Jerusalem. Okay. I was in Jerusalem in the temple court. But how I was seated, I was seated as if I was sitting on bleachers where I could look down upon the the court, the courtyard, okay? And the like this, the bleachers that I was sitting on were, were like rocky bleachers, okay? And these bleachers had like steps as normal bleachers do. And as I was sitting there, I could see a good, I could see a good view looking down at the temple court. And what I, I noticed, there was a man that sat to the front of me, yet sitting to the right, about, I would say, four or five bleachers down and to the right of me. It was one old man. He looked like he was about in his uh, late 50s and late 60s. And he was looking down at the temple court as well, but we didn't say anything to each other until I said something to him later on in my dream, but while we were looking down at the temple court, I could see a sprinkle of people walking around. Just a little bit. I mean, I probably could have counted them. I would say about 10 to 15 people just walking around. And then the main thing, the big thing that I noticed was two people standing side by side with prophet clothes on. I mean, nice clothes on. Like royal, royalty clothes. Um, and it wasn't like normal clothes that we wear. It was like a, a, like a robe. All right? Like a robe. And both their robes were the exact same. And it was black and white. Okay? I, in this dream, I did not see them preach. It's, it's, it's like my dream started... When these men, these two men, stopped speaking or stopped uh, whatever they were doing. Because in my dream, they didn't speak. But they had this confused, embarrassed look on them. They had this confused and embarrassed look, both of them together. Okay. So while I'm looking down at them, it's the old guy that was sitting next to me. He was looking at them too. All right, we both were facing them, and they was like facing towards us, but they didn't see us. But they stood right next to each other. Both had prophet clothes on, beautiful clothes. All right, like robes. And they both looked confused. Their mouth was closed. Both looked confused. Both look um, embarrassed. And I also noticed right beside them, standing off in a bit of a distance, was a man. Like a normal bystander. As if he was, as if he was just walking around the uh, temple court and then suddenly seeing them and decided to, to, and decided to just to stop. And then he, he was just looking at them. In my year, my dream, it seems as if they were talking, and then when my dream started, they stopped talking. 
So when that guy just stood there, that, it seemed, that guy heard what they were talking about, but I couldn't. I was not there to hear it. So the guy had normal clothes on, like I said, normal bystander, nothing fancy, nothing, nothing special about him. And he was just looking at them as if he was trying to absorb what they were saying. And then while he was looking at them, it's like something overcame this guy. Okay? It's like something just overcame him. And in his strong, loud voice, it's like he was condemning these men, rebuking these men. I, I don't, and then the thing is, this what I, I this what confirmed that I was in uh, Jerusalem and that I was in Israel, even though I knew I was there in the temple court. This man was speaking Arabic. This man was speaking Hebrew. I heard, I know the language. Just like if you heard someone in your dream speaking Chinese, yet you don't understand. You heard somebody uh, uh, speaking. Uh, French, yet you don't understand the language, but you know the accent. Okay? This man was speaking Hebrew or Arabic, and he was speaking loud in a rebuking manner. You rebuking these two prophets. And while he was doing that, that's why That's why when I seen, they had this confused and embarrassed look. And I said, why? If they have this confused and embarrassed look, why is that? I don't know. I really don't know. But something overcame that man, and that's why he began to rebuke them. And the thing is, when he began, when he was rebuking them, in my dream, even though I did not know why, in my dream, it was a good thing. In my dream, it made it made it known that it was a good thing because when he rebuked them, I, um, I became overwhelmed with joy. I became oh, <clears throat> the spirit was on the spirit was upon me, and I became o o overwhelmed with joy, and I began to rejoice because of this man rebuking those two prophets. And as I became overwhelmed, giving glory to the Lord, the guy, the old guy that was in front of me, he turned around and looked at me, and I was trying to explain to him that Christ is on His way. That Christ is on his way. That's what I was telling this guy. But it's like the words were stuttering out of my mouth because I was so overwhelmed with joy because of what the man had done. And this was just been made known to me in his dream. And mind you, this is what I also noticed. As I sat hovered over the temple court, I didn't notice I didn't notice a physical temple. All right, I didn't notice a physical temple. These two prophets now being made known to me in this dream that they're false prophets. Okay, they're false prophets, and they were standing in the temple court, side by side, same robe, and that robe was very royalty. They looked very clean. Yet a normal guy off the street came, just rebuking them. I'm not sure if they were speaking. They may. They had to have been speaking lies, trying to fool those around them. But that man, the man came, having spiritual discernment. Okay. And he heard what I didn't hear. The Holy Spirit overcame him because he just power just came into him to where he just with a loud voice. Yeah, he didn't touch them. He didn't try to hurt them. <clears throat> but again, in that dream, <clears throat> though I know I was in Jerusalem, though I know I was in the area of the temple court where I could look down, there was no rebuilding of no temple. There was no temple. But that's that's what I seen in my dream. And I didn't put it out because I didn't understand it. All right? I didn't understand it. But I wanted to put that out. That's the dream I had a while back. This was probably like, I had this dream probably about two, three months ago. And I still held on to it because I was confused. I didn't know. I didn't know anything. But I knew I was in Jerusalem, sitting on a uh, Hubbard Stadium, Rocky Stadium. I knew I was in the temple court. All 
All right. Why why there weren't a lot of men out there at the temple court? I have no clue. Why those two prophets know in my dream made known to me that they were false, speaking lies? I don't know. I really don't know. I just wanted to put that video out there. If you have any questions or comments or had any type of sleep similar dreams, but that's what I got from that. And as I began to re read scripture, it did make sense. It made a lot of sense to me. And I wanted to also make a separate video of that as well. But that's the dream that I had. Yeah, I have any questions or comments, leave a personal message or comment. Take care.